Okay, so I usually do really like short clips and videos of things I see while I'm hiking that I think are interesting, like wildlife or plants or stuff like that. But today we're gonna do something a little bit different and do my version of a gear review. Um, but as you can see from the title of this video, there's two important things. Number one, I call it my opinion because everyone's shoe, everyone's foot shape is completely different. So just because these work for me doesn't mean they'll work for you and vice versa. Um, and the second, part about the title of this video, why I really decided to make it, is because I see mostly men reviewing hiking shoes, and I'm not like a radical feminist type person or anything like that, but it's just the point of the fact that if some, if it's an item that I'm going to put, you know, that I'm going to wear, I would rather somebody closer to my body type make the video. So, anyway. So, here in my left hand is the Brooks Divide 3, and here in my right hand is the Brooks Cascadia 16. Now, I am pretty like an OCD person when it comes to hygiene and stuff, so I do clean my shoes after every hike, but believe it or not, I've put almost 40 miles on the Cascadias and about 30 trail miles plus a lot of running errands and stuff in town on the divides, and I'll talk about why I do both of that um, with both of these shoes. But I just wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison for a few different reasons as well. Um, so the reason why I like Brooks running is basically because they do what they say they do. They're as advertised, like they work as advertised. So the Cascadia 16, this is advertised as a trail running shoe, right? So it has this ballistic rock plate at the bottom. I've stepped down really hard on purpose while hiking on rocks and sticks and stuff, you know, to test that. And my foot felt very protected. And if we would go back to the comparison, you can see that the lugs are spaced kind of a little bit further apart on the trail shoe versus the divide which is advertised as a hybrid road to trail running shoe so in my personal experience and once again this is my opinion some reviewers say different and that's good for them but in my experience it does exactly what it says so the trail shoe the cascadia here is more comfortable for long periods actual hiking on trails whereas the divide is more comfortable if you're gonna do like a rail trail, which is like those old abandoned railroads that they paved part of and then part of it's a trail. So on for the rail trail that I go to near where I live and stuff, I use these for the local park. I use these divides. Another very useful, I guess, just feature, not feature, but a way that I use these is if I'm going to take a short walk that day because I have work or a lot of other things to do after like go to the grocery store and stuff like that because once again in my personal opinion the divide is a little bit more comfortable on the hard ground um also i want to talk about sizing and fit because that's an important thing i'm kind of talking fast here because i don't want to make this video too long and you know people don't have the attention span which i don't blame them neither do i but so both of these in my personal opinion do fit true to size i'm a woman's size seven and a half and that is what I got. The only thing I will say is in the divides, I have done some trail running. Um, and these I have not actually ran, I've just hiked. But I would say if you have now a narrower foot, do opt to go with the narrow width. I got the medium width and my foot is a little narrow. And with running, I do feel a little bit of slippage. But once again, that's not a Brooks issue. That's just because I didn't get the narrow width, even though I could have because it was available. Um, so we talked a little bit about the rock plate on the Cascadias, something that the divides have, if you can see that, they call it DNA loft and every shoe manufacturer comes up with this crazy, you know, name for the bottom of their shoe because theirs is the best and, you know, Merrill has select grip, um, Solomon has contra grip, etc. So it's really just a fancy way of describing this foam, but in my opinion, it is super comfortable and that really... Um, you know, contributes to the fact that I love to wear these shoes on errands, I love to wear them on pavement, not just on actual trail hiking like the Cascadias. And another thing, you know, like you can see with the Cascadias, since the lugs are spaced further apart and everything, you know, right there is why it's better for like sticks and stones and stuff to not get stuck in there while you're hiking. But at the same time, that really doesn't happen to me with the divides either because, you know, it's got a little bit shorter lugs even though they are close together I don't get crap stuck in those either um both of these shoes are the non-waterproof version but at least the Cascadia I know does come in a GTX version but the reason why I didn't get that version is because with waterproof shoes 
there is a little bit of a breathability issue and both of these are my go-to summer trail shoes if i'm still making videos by then i guess i'll make a video um when the fall and winter comes of the two different hiking boots and shoes that i use to hike in colder weather that are waterproof but these are not so one last thing i wanted to touch on with these shoes in the comparison is that both of them do have really strong laces even when i go running with these i never had the lace come untied and these are currently untied because i untied them but these have like textured laces and they're flat so they stay untied too these are flat too but um the cascadia is more textured so that's basically it there you have it my experience with both these shoes and side by side comparisons since i didn't really see anybody um putting them both together but yeah, so two great new products from Brooks. I've been wearing Brooks for a long time, the Divide 3 and the Cascadia 16. Um, they're actually not that new because now they do have like, the Cascadia 17s, but I actually read things about that that I don't like. So that's it.